So welcome to another tech tip from K21 Academy. My name is Atul Kumar and in this short video we are going to look at Oracle eBusiness Suite R12 that is ERP CRM which mainly used for financials, HCM, supply chain management and lot of other applications. So deployment of eBusiness Suite on cloud Oracle versus AWS or Amazon Web Services. So before we go into this whole thing about Oracle versus Amazon, I'm going to first cover a brief background about cloud and then Amazon and then Oracle and then we'll look at deploying eBusiness Suite on cloud Oracle versus AWS. I'm assuming you already know the cloud concepts but let me repeat very quickly for those who are new to cloud. Cloud has basically three service models. One is infrastructure as a service which you see on left. Then it has a platform as a service which you see in the middle and software as a service that you see in extreme right. Now software as a service basically you have externalized entire your application to some other vendor. For example you use Gmail or Yahoo Mail or Dropbox for storage or Google Drive for storage. All these are example of SaaS. In an enterprise world software as a service is your Salesforce application, Oracle HCM on the cloud and so on. So that's SaaS. Infrastructure as a service means storage, compute and network together. You combine that. So from your cloud vendor you get storage, compute and network. Whereas platform as a service means you get that platform. So from a end user's point of view you get a database on the cloud or weblogic server on the cloud or big data on the cloud. So these are platform as a service. Now if you look at the history of cloud, Salesforce were the early back in 99 were the early pioneers of the cloud. Then Amazon came back in 2002 with their Amazon Web Services AWS. That's a discussion for some other time. But in 2006 Amazon came with EC2 and S3. EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud and S3 st stands for Simple Storage Service. So these were the two main component or part of infrastructure as a service. Now Oracle in 2012 announced Oracle Public Cloud and now Oracle also have offerings in all three service model that's software as a service, platform as a service and infrastructure as a service. Now coming back to the main question, should you deploy Oracle eBusiness Suite on AWS or Amazon AWS or Oracle Public Cloud? Well, first of all, let's see whether Oracle eBusiness Suite is even possible to deploy on Amazon AWS or not. So if you look at a blog from Stephen Chen and if you don't follow his blog, I'll highly recommend if you're an Apps DBA, Oracle eBusiness Suite DBA, you should follow, start following Stephen Chen's blog. This is how I started my journey or this is how I started my blogging journey back in 2005-06. So as per his note, if you look at, it tells about how to deploy Oracle eBusiness Suite on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, which is EC2. So it's technically it's possible to deploy Oracle eBusiness Suite in Amazon EC2. And I know there are ready-made templates as well available. You can lift and shift and deploy. Having said that, if you read his latest post, which was on June 9th, 2017, that is Oracle eBusiness Suite certified for Amazon AWS or EC2. The answer you see is no, we have not tested and certified Amazon AWS. So first and important thing is technically it's going to work because it's infrastructure as service, it's same compute, memory and storage. However, not everything is tested on Amazon AWS. So if something is not certified the vendor, my suggestion is not to go ahead or not to deploy on EC2 though as I said is technically and there's a thin line between certified and supported. So have a look at whether you feel comfortable deploying EBS on Amazon AWS. Now let's see what's possible on Oracle Public Cloud or what all deployment options are available on Oracle Public Cloud for deploying Oracle eBusiness Suite. Now if you look at deployment options of Oracle eBusiness Suite R12 on Oracle Public Cloud, you have two main options. 
you can either deploy everything on infrastructure as a service, but on Oracle public cloud, or you can deploy on Oracle public cloud again, but application or e-business suite application tier on infrastructure as a service and database part or database tier of Oracle e-business suite on platform as a service, which is pass or database as a service part. And within platform as a service under database cloud service or DBCS, which means the Oracle e-business suite database will be using database cloud service from Oracle and application tier will be deployed on Oracle's infrastructure as a service. So left hand side, you see single node. So Oracle on Oracle's infrastructure as a service or compute, you deploy Oracle e-business suite, both database and application tier on the single node. Then other option is you deploy multiple e-business suite application tier on the top and the database at the bottom with infrastructure as a service. Or third option is you have database on Oracle's database cloud service, which is a pass offering, platform as a service offering and application tier on compute or infrastructure as a service offering. Now, if you're using Oracle Rack with your Oracle eBusiness Suite, Rack stands for Real Application Cluster, and that provides high availability and scalability for the database tier. So if you're using Oracle Rack, no other cloud vendor, be it Amazon, Microsoft Azure, IBM or any other big player, they don't support Oracle Rack on its own without additional third-party software on cloud. The only way Oracle Rack is supported on, on its own is within Oracle's platform as a service DBCS offering that you see on the right hand side. So if you're using Oracle eBusiness Suite Rack, you can migrate that to Oracle Public Cloud and for the database tier, you use Rack offering from the DBCS part and then application tier on infrastructure as a service. So another advantage of using Oracle Public Cloud is the leverage or use of Oracle's platform as a service, DBCS service with Rack option. And the story doesn't end here. There's something called as EBS provisioning tool that's also called as EBS Cloud Admin Tool or Cloud Admin Utility. That's a centralized server, which is a Chef server. And if you know, Chef is basically a deployment or it's a software for your infrastructure and configuration management. So this server basically deploy all your other e-business suite application tier and the database tier. You can also use it for deploying high availability adding more nodes, integration of Oracle eBusiness Suite with on-premise applications, and a lot more. We cover all this in detail in our EBS on Cloud training. We cover all these advanced topics in our EBS on Cloud training for Apps DBAs. So if you're an Apps DBA, or if you're a manager managing Oracle eBusiness Suite, or if an architect planning to look for how to or what is the right platform for Oracle's eBusiness Suite, eBusiness financials, HRMS, whether it's Amazon AWS or Oracle Public Cloud. Technically, it should, it's going to work on both. But if you look at the certification, if you look at the tools that comes, if you look at ease of migration from on-premise to cloud, because EBS Oracle has a utility to migrate lift and shift. If you look at adding more nodes, if you look at the tools that comes with Oracle Public Cloud, definitely have a look at Oracle. I personally think Oracle is much better placed in supporting and managing Oracle eBusiness Suite R12 on Oracle Public Cloud compared to Amazon AWS. With that, if you're not yet part of our private Facebook group dedicated for Oracle Cloud, I will highly recommend you to join our private Facebook group that's on k21academy.com forward slash join cloud and hit enter. It will redirect you to our private Facebook group for cloud. This is where we discuss all our queries, questions, or if you have any suggestion or tips, or if you have any questions, you can post it in this group. It's a 1400 plus Oracle strong community. 
and that is rapidly growing on a daily basis. Well, that's it from me, Atul Kumar from Team K20 Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video and if and wherever you are watching this video, don't forget to leave us a comment. And you want regular update on these tips and tricks related to Oracle Cloud, don't forget to subscribe to our blog. That's k21academy.com forward slash blog. And on right hand side, you say sign up for blog updates.